Gary, the run continues. You couldn't go all that way in much better form, could you? No, it's true. It's, uh, I mean, at the moment, we're looking forward to every game that's, that's coming up and that's what happens when you're in uh, a good vein of form. And the boys uh, be looking forward to the game. So, you know, obviously it's a long old journey, but we know we've got to make it. It's better than sort of probably making it in mid-winter or something. You know, we're, we're going up, it's not too bad. Um, and as you say, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And, and certainly our, our run of non-defeats has been encouraging. And, uh, and our play has been encouraging. So it's always nice, but it, it doesn't mean to say that you can just turn up and get a result. You've got to go there and, and do all the things that you're doing well that, that gets you a good run. Because you went there in the Cup last year looking for an upset and the performance was there. The finishing touches just weren't quite. So, I mean, I suppose most of the squad should have no reason to be afraid going there, though. No, well, we certainly won't be afraid going there anyway. And we've got enough experience in our team not to be afraid. It's just um, making sure that you get your game going on the day. Um, they've had a... a poor run of form really themselves so their manager would be trying very hard to turn their form around um, I think they won they beat Stanford in the FA Cup but uh, other than that they've, they've not been getting results and they need their first win at home I think which is uh, you know sometimes they've got to get it sometime let's hope it's not not against us but uh, the, you know, we've got to make sure that we, we go there and put on a performance that doesn't give them their first home win. You mentioned the other night that all the sections in the team have been playing well of late. How much has the bar been raised and also by you know the couple of changes that you made on Tuesday for the competition sort of actually not weakening the team, not weakening the performance and does the bar become higher now? Um, I think it does, yeah. You're always looking for the bar to be higher anyway because you can always improve, definitely. Um, but what we did the other night against Bolton, we, we proved that A, we can defend well against very good forward thinking opposition. And and also, even though you know, Bolton had several passes, or some passes more than us, we was in their penalty area. We was in our attacking penalty area more than they were in ours so it meant we kept them out of the danger area so for all the extra passes that on the day they, they had we had more shots and we had more penalty area entries so that's really what I was pleased about um, against a very strong team so so if we're going to raise that, that bar as it were we, we're going to raise it by getting more penalty area entries so that we can get more opportunities. Yeah, a lot of people talk about possession. I mean, is there almost too much obsession in football with possession purely as a stat? I suppose you know, territory and chances and ultimately goals are, are what counts, aren't they? Yeah, I think there's there's times in a game when possession is is good. Um, you know, kill the game if you need to. People have to be comfortable in in keeping possession. Um, I'm not sure that if you're going to be a possession side, you've got to be very very. You've got to be one of the better teams in the league. And uh, because other teams are going to go and shut you down very close to your goal. And if you're not good enough to get out of that, then uh, you can struggle. So obviously teams like Bolton are at the top of their league because they're able to work their possession into opportunities. That was why I said it was a good result for us. You know, Don't, don't be under any illusions what a good game that was for us, for our confidence. And, and our game. So, um, listen, I'm not going to stop any manager doing what he wants to do. We've got our game, we've got our game plan, and at the end of the season, you, you see whether it's worked for your team more than their tactic has worked for them. How's Dan Holman? Has he had any reaction or is he fine from Tuesday? No, he's fine. The only reaction was, was what you saw at the end of the game. He was very happy to have had his 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'll probably try and get some form of uh, practice game today, albeit for 25 minutes, half an hour, not with the first team, but um, and, and see how he goes in that again. And uh, we'll be building him up to uh, 
to, for, to, for when we feel that he's ready to start. That might be now, but that'll be up to him to prove himself as soon as he can. Is it getting to the stage where it's getting a little bit harder to pick a team in a nice way? Um, what's a nice way of picking a team? You've just got to no, a nice to... way of having problems. No, I know, yeah, but you, you've, you've, I agree with what you're saying, but you always have to, whoever you pick, you can only pick 11, and you've got 22 players, 25 players that want to play. So you, you, you've always got to disappoint somebody. Um, and I know how much, as I say, that this group want to play and be involved. So it's, uh, and we've got people coming back from injury. I think Rowie's back. He's training today, Johnny Smith's training today. So we keep adding to that problem, if you like. If, listen, they're only just come back, so they won't expect to, to start, but they're all looking to be involved. And uh, But if you're winning and it's going well, that makes it a lot easier because people understand why they're not in the team if a particular group of lads is, is winning, winning games. So only Ace are not training today then? Um, yeah, only Acer at the moment. There's a couple with little niggles uh, that we've just got to check on. You know, we're two days away from Saturday. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, Gav's injury board is, is not looking so, so full as it was.